message was unity and starting the school year with a clean slate. We are Linden founder Ralph Carter helped facilitate tonight's town hall. He works with these teens every single day and he says it all starts with a question. Do you want to live? And if you want to live, you have to take these these safe these safe steps in order to do so. Knowing what crowd to run with, who not to run with, knowing what building or what places to go and where not to go. We want to let them know the school is their safe haven. Ralph Carter has been working to make a difference in Linden's youth for years through We Are Linden, and it's working. Going down the wrong path, doing the wrong things, just fighting. Let my anger get the best of me, so pretty much it just helped me be like a better version of me. It helped me change my anger because I was going down the uh, wrong path. Now he wants to connect more kids to the adults they can trust at home and at school. So people crowded into the auditorium at Lyndon McKinley Thursday to find out how they can help. The youth don't always, always necessarily always connect and talk to their parents all the time, so they'll talk to outside sources. We will be able to create that hedge of protection, support our youth, and again, level set. Uh, we don't want the problems from last year, there could be, great, be more problems for this year. A big part of that is communication. 16-year-old Dyshawn Prater says Carter has helped him realize talking works. They want to something they can have somebody to talk to and not, they won't, they won't build up and they a frustration to calm down as they talking to that person that they feel safe with. Kind of just like clears my mind from all the things I did in the past and just, it just keeps me to just push forward and make a better future. Now that better future is in sight and Carter sees a new opportunity to change more futures with the new school year. We don't want no child to feel like they have to go to school in fear. Another big part of Carter's message is that he understands these kids are under a lot of social pressure to fall into bad things like violence and crime, but he says it takes a smarter person to say no. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Kyle Beachy, NBC4.